Hello, right here I have the four best plastic chairs currently on the market. First we have the Growflex Pacific Fan Back. Basically a fan back design on the back, looks like a seashell. You got your really thick and sturdy tubular front legs. You can see that's like three eighths of an inch thick. Very sturdy. It has some lines on the seat, plenty of holes for drainage. There you can see it. I mean this is really thick and sturdy. Very thick back slats. You can see it's a very nice thick chair. Flip the Growflex specific fan back chair over and have a closer look at it. There you can see all the ribs on this chair. You can see the Growflex stamping right there. And there's one, there's my old address label in case the chair got lost. I pulled this label off. Actually, I stuck that label in a notebook. I'll show you all the labels I got. And I've got a whole collection of them saved in a notebook. It says US patent number DES.817088. It says 1987 by SARL Growflex. It says mold 60007. And the date says, I can't read that date. Yeah, I was looking for my notebook full of labels, but this is all I found in the notebook. These are the labels for my Madre's lounge chair with the pull-out footrest. It says, to operate footrest, pull-out and pull-down legs. And then it just says the normal plastic chair stuff. Yeah, every chair comes with a huge label like this on the bottom of it. I pulled the label off the Pacific fan back so I can see what the patent number is and everything that was under it. Yeah, you can see just how thick and sturdy these legs are. Like the Cafe Vienna, your basic bistro chair. Heavy duty, very thick plastic. You can hear how thick that is. Top filled polypropylene. So let's flip the Cafe Vienna over and have a closer look at it. There you can see all the ribbing on it, the honeycomb underside. It says, warning, weight capacity 250 pounds. I beg to differ because I've seen these chairs hold 500 pounds of sandbags. It says, do not lean back in chair. Please check chair before using for cracks or structural problems. And then you can see the design. Let's make it really strong. All those ribs down there. And if you look at these ribs and flip the chair back over. The pattern on the seat hides the indent caused by the ribs because plastic tends to shrink in areas where it's thicker. Now the ECR for kids plastic stack chair. Very heavy, thick, durable stacking chair. Probably the number one school chair right now. It's taken over the country by storm. There you can see the underside of it. And you can see how thick these legs are. That's like a solid inch of plastic. All four legs are like that. There you can see all the ribbing. Really big rib. Maybe about two and a half, three inches there, two and a half, three inches here. And you can see just how thick this is. That's like a solid three quarter inch of plastic. You can see where the plastic flowed into the mold right there. There's the ECR for kids plastic structure stamping. It's got the recycling sign and the date down there. That's about Now the Adams Big Easy Adirondack chair, possibly one of the best plastic chairs ever made. Well, duh, that's what the name of the video is. I mean, it's comfortable as all get out, but it's not an Adirondack chair. It's just an oversized dining chair and relaxing chair. So let's flip the Adams Big Easy Adirondack chair over and have a look at the underside. Look at all that ribbing on the back to make it sturdy. Come around this side. Look at the size of those rubber feet. And these feet are designed so you can't even pull them out with vice grips. I mean, they're not going to go anywhere. There you can see the underside of it. It says, not for persons weighing over 350 pounds. Do not use on uneven, wet, or slippery surfaces. Do not lean back, tip, or stand on chair. Do not lean back on rear legs. Do not use chair if shows signs of wear and damage. Do not use in a business institution or commercially and it says US patents hashtag D661178 8333430 B29 
144309 and patents pending. Yeah, there's the Adams logo. And it says 2018 is the date it was made. The first stamping in this chair was made, it says 2016. Yeah, a lot of information down there. You can see all the ribbing and everything. Very thick and sturdy chair. I can see a lot of machine tool marks on the, in on the inside. You can see the machine tool marks from how they made the mold. I mean, this chair is the real deal. The designer really did their homework on it. So anyway, there's the four best plastic chairs on the market. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Remember, always be comfortable. That's just the electric room. Everybody has one of those in their basement.